So that's kind of cool. They're telling me this guy, this little guy is going to replace all of my microphones. These are the microphones I use. I've got the Elgato Wave mic right over here. That one stays on my desk. When I'm live streaming, when I'm gaming, or from on Discord, that's the one I use. Then I've got the lavalier mic, which I'm using right now to actually record this video. And then I've got the Rode Wireless Go for on the go shots when I don't want a wire hanging off me or sometimes when I want to interview someone. <laughs> I'm the thing that, you know, if, if you're married, your spouse is not going to kill you if you come shopping in our booth. That is a very good sales line for audio files. <laughs> that's, that's, that's good. So they're telling me all of this, all of this will be replaced with one of these. See, this is the Tula mic. And amongst other things, this is both a USB Type-C microphone and a wireless mic. First off, the Tula mic does have a USB-C port. Plug it in and it shows up as an input device on, well, pretty much anything. And that's literally it. It's plug and play. It'll connect to your PC, to your Mac, even iOS and Android devices, just like that. And what's really cool is that you can actually route audio out from your PC or your Mac or whatever to this because Ta-da! It's got a little 3.5mm jack where you can connect your headphones and monitor audio in real time and listen to your general PC audio as well. Literally a studio on the go. On the other hand, you can fold the little flip stand like so and take it with you. Because the Tula mic is also wireless. It's got a battery inside and an 8 gig internal storage card that can record up to 12 to 14 hours of audio on the go. But I hear you, who wants to vlog like this? One hand holding the camera, one hand holding a mic. You need at least a hand free to point at things and make fun of people. So, no problem. Remember that 3.5mm jack? Well, you can actually use it to plug in your own lavalier microphone, tuck this in your pocket out of the way, stick your lapel mic on your lapel, hands free, done. But that's not all. Because the Tula mic is actually two microphones in one. That's right, it's got two capsules inside, a cardioid and an omnidirectional. And what that means is, by default, it's in cardioid, which means it'll pick up only noises in front of it, my voice in this case, and reject a lot of background sound, which is what most people want, which is why it's default. But sometimes when you're out and about in a nice park like this, you wanna capture some of the external noise. You wanna capture some of the ambience as it were. No problem. This little button here, boom. Just like that, it switches into omnidirectional mode and now it's picking up all the sounds around it. The birds chirping, the wind rustling through the leaves. Okay, it's really quiet here. This is not a great place to pick this up, but you get the idea. So, cardioid mode, boom, omnidirectional mode. There's water, there's a helicopter somewhere. I don't know if you can hear all that, but omnidirectional mode, boom, cardioid mode. See, easy, but there's more. I do feel like a vacation. This also has an interview mode. See that 3.5mm jack that we spoke about earlier? You can actually hook it up with a lavalier mic and long press this button here. And now you can actually record on the Tula mic as well as the lavalier mic. Tula mic, lavalier mic. Tula mic, lavalier mic. And what's really cool is that when this is happening, there's two little LEDs in front. I don't know if you can see it in this bright light, but it actually shows you if you're clipping or not. So if it glows red, it means your voice is too loud. And you can actually adjust the gain on both of these microphones using either the plus or minus on the right or the left. Literally an interview studio in a little box. It's just incredible. Now, let's try that coffee, shall we? Oh, that's good, that's good. I usually like them a little bit stronger, but that is very, very nice. This is a very noisy cafe. There's a lot of people around. I'm really glad for this cardioid mode. Hopefully, hopefully you're hearing my voice and it's canceling out a lot of the surrounding sound, hopefully. But that's okay because there's more.
Uh, it was way too noisy at that cafe. Look, this is a $250 microphone, which I know is not cheap, but just look at the number of features you're getting, right? And I haven't even gotten to all the features. Like, here's another one. Noise cancelling. There's a little noise cancelling button here, which activates noise cancelling. And it's not a do-it-all wondrous noise cancelling that'll just cancel out everything. It'll take out a little AC hum and buzz if you need it to, and that's about it. But here's the thing. The people that made this mic actually thought of the people that'll use this mic and made things accordingly. For example, when you use noise cancelling algorithms, oftentimes voices begin to sound unnatural. To combat that, they actually made sure that the Tula mic records not one but two files, one with noise cancelling on and one just the raw audio. So if you don't like the effect of the noise cancelling, you can use the raw audio and do your own noise cancelling or just leave it be, it's up to you. And this thing about convenience, it carries through as well. For example, once you're done recording, how do you get the files off? Simple. USB-C to any device, it literally shows up as an external hard drive, download the files, you're done. It's that simple. In that interview mode I mentioned earlier, it actually records two files, one from each microphone. So later on when you're editing your podcast or what have you, if you find that your guest was a little bit quiet, you can bump his voice up or her voice up because it's a separate file. This tells me that the people who made this mic actually use microphones, actually understand the end user. And the fact that it's all just in one package, no app, nothing required. This one thing I can literally place in my pocket and go is an entire studio. The flip side to that is there are a lot of buttons, but I would argue that that is in line with what I think their design philosophy here is because the Tula mic has no app. The Elgato Wave mic I showed you earlier, the Rode Wireless Go 2, all of them work with apps and to get certain features out of them, you have to use the app. Not in this case. Everything is via a physical button or a combination of buttons. And I would argue that to make that work, you need this many buttons. It's a little intimidating, takes a couple of days to get the hang off. Once you do though, it's really not that complicated. And as if that wasn't enough, according to their website, every component on the Tula mic is either snapped on or held together with a screw and not soldered on, which means you can actually user replace all of the components, at least according to what they tell me on their website, which is just that little cherry on top. I mean, seriously, one of these on a little tripod and one of these is basically an entire YouTube studio or a podcast studio in your pocket. It's kind of nuts. Ladies and gentlemen, the Tula mic. Oh yes, you can replay what you have recorded because if you plug in your headphones, it'll actually play back your file. You can even pause your recording, you can continue to record, you can scrub back through your recordings, like you just use a headphone jack and...